guys, it's Jimmy. So I hope you guys are doing really, really well. So I want to share with you an easy way for you to make your own disinfectant spray. I know that the stores are kind of like, don't have anything in them, but <laughs> I'm going to share with you a um, disinfectant spray that I use around my house that works really, really well. Um, and maybe some alternatives if you have children, if you don't want like harsh chemicals, um, you can absolutely use these and they're not that bad. So let's get started. So what you can use first is you can go get this Pine and Glow or Pine Saw works too. And Pine Saw actually kills 99% of bacteria and viruses just naturally. Um, this is made in the US and this I got from the dollar store. You get it in this big pack and it works really, really well. The only thing is that you can totally put it in a spray bottle, that's fine but you have to wait 15 minutes um, for it to dry. So you would wet your surface, whatever you were cleaning, the toilet, your counters, whatever, and um, you have to let it sit for 15 minutes. Um, so that's the first way that you can kind of have a DIY um, or homemade kind of disinfectant. This one, um, my mom did put just a little bit of water in um, just because we wanted to make it stretch a little bit, but yeah, very easy, and I always label mine, and I usually put the date too. So these are spray bottles from the dollar store, super, super cheap, and right now they have a ton of them. Because, yeah, because you can get lots of stuff that you normally would be out at the dollar store, so this works. And they do have this product, at least in Colorado, um, they did have a lot of it on the shelf still. So, very nice. So you can use that, and that works really, really well. Um, I don't like really waiting the 15 minutes, though, because sometimes you want to dis disinfect things fast, or you have kids or something like that, um, and you have to remember to go back and um, wipe them <laughs> after you let it sit for 15 minutes. If it's still kind of wet, if you go crazy like I do, um, you can just wipe it off gently, okay? And that's one thing that you can do. So you can just put that in a bottle and use that, and that works really, really well, too. Another thing um, that you can do is just use alcohol. So um, I just use isopropyl alcohol. Um, my friend has a lot of allergies and um, she can't use a lot of harsh chemicals. So her doctor actually recommended that for disinfecting and that kind of thing, that she actually use alcohol. So alcohol does work very, very well um, for killing bacteria and viruses and that kind of thing too. So um, you can just get a bottle of that. Um, I usually get the 91%, but you can get the 70% at the dollar store. They're totally out of it, but maybe you can get them while they restock. And it works really, really well for lots of things. So I just get the highest one that they have. And the great thing about it is, I don't know if you know this or not, you can make your own kind of spray with it just by getting um, just a standard spray bottle. This is from the dollar store. It's one of their decorative one. And even the one that I showed you works too. And um, you can just stick it on there and just twist it right on. And I don't know why, but I think that broke a little bit. And it sprays just like that. Okay, and you can, you know, do the setting that you want and all that stuff. So. That works very, very well too. And you can go around your house and spray things off. Um, I just kind of, again, let it sit for a minute. And um, alcohol is really great because it dries super duper fast. Um, so that makes it a really great cleaner. And you can use a paper towel if you want, you know, to wipe it off after you let it sit for like a minute or so. Um, and it works really, really well. And it was doctor recommended. So <laughs> you'll be in good hands for sure. Okay, and another thing that you can do too is you can combine both of these things, which I love, and um, they work really, really well together. So for this, all you need is some of the pine and glow, and I love it because um, you get the smell of like pine salt or that piney smell. You can even, I think they have this in lemon too, and I think in lavender, at least in my dollar store, and then you just need some alcohol. And what you do is you pour basically the whole, or a lot of the, I usually do half a bottle of your um, alcohol in, just like that. And then I will do half of the pine salt. And you really have a great disinfectant spray because um, this kills 99.9% .9 and then the alcohol kills a whole ton of things too. So it's a great sanitizer. Okay, and then you're just gonna pour that in. I just fill it up. You can add a little bit of water if you want, but I never do that. 
and then you have just a wonderful cleaner and the great part about it is that it smells really really good because of the pine saw so you don't get that like alcohol smell um, which is very annoying and I don't know why this broke that is so weird but <laughs> but it does and I just do the same thing so again um, I just set it to whatever kind of stream I want let's, let's just I have another top down here we'll use that And this is some that I made earlier, but okay, we'll just stick that in. And you can set it, you know, to whichever kind of spray you want. That's kind of a powerful stream. And you'll just spray your surface however you want. And then um, you just let it sit for a couple minutes, you know, and um, it's good and it's good to go. And um, it works really, really well. And this stays for a really long time. Um, we usually go through a lot of disinfectant spray at my house. Um, but especially um, if you're looking just for an affordable alternative and everything on the shelves is completely gone, then you can totally use this and it does work very, very well. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, you can use just the straight pine glow or pine salt. If you can find it, it kills 99% of germs and bacteria. You can use 91% alcohol or even 70% works well too. Um, just separately, just put a spray, a sprayer on top of it and you can use that around your house with paper towel if you want. And then this is my ideal one. So this is what I use all the time. It's half alcohol and half of the pine and glow. And um, these two will not have a bad reaction because you have to be careful when you mix things together. It gives you harmful fumes. Um, but these work very, very well. And it has just a pleasant kind of smell. Um, and, you know, they don't explode or anything on you, which is super important. <laughs> so it works very, very well. So this is my ideal. This is what I make my DIY kind of or homemade um, disinfectant sprays out of. And you know, you can always use like vinegar and that kind of stuff, but I really love um, the antibacterial, the anna, um, I really love that it kills viruses and bacteria and that it disinfects too. I think that you should have a cleaner that disinfects. <laughs> I think that's super important, especially for what we're going through now. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you later. Um, also make sure that everything is not expired so make sure that you're using alcohol you know that is not expired and um, pine salt that is not expired either that's super important um, for disinfecting and for cleaning in general okay so i'll see you guys later i hope that you're doing really really safe um we're closed down in colorado right now or in denver i don't know why they don't close everything in colorado but whatever. i hope you guys are safe too <laughs> everyone's in my prayers and um, hopefully this will be over soon, <laughs> but hopefully everyone's safe. And I will see you guys later. God bless you and bye-bye.